Yeah, no, listen. Yeah, yeah, I'll call you right back. It's the Tim Conway Comedy Hour. With guest star, Audrey Meadows. And special guest star, Peter Graves. And now, here he is, Mr. Show Business himself, Tim Conway. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, Tim, when are you going to have your neighbors on? Thank you. Well, we've got a real great show for you here tonight and a couple of great guests. I'd like to introduce them right now. A real great guy and a real close personal friend of mine, a guy who stopped over the house an awful lot, stops over almost constantly. You can almost go in any room and he's always there. Real great guy and uh, you know how it is when a couple of comedians get together. We really, really have a lot of fun. So here he is. Let's hear it for a guy who really stopped over a lot, Peter Graves. Hey, Tim, Tim Carson yell. My other guest is my other guest and a really great close personal friend of mine too. She also stops over the house an awful lot. Boy, she was... Well, you couldn't even walk in a room this week at all without seeing almost either one of them there, because they're, they're there all the time, man. We just had so much fun, and I, I think she probably stopped over more than even Peter... No, it's about the same. They were almost pretty close to being the same. So let's hear it for a little girl with a big name, Audrey Meadows. Thank you. Well, enough of this small talk with our guests. Let's get on with the show. Hey, Tim, did you have a nose job? <laughs> Television City in Hollywood, the Tim Conway Comedy Hour. Tonight, also featuring Belinda Somerville, Bonnie Boland, Art Matrano, McLean Stevenson, Sally Struthers, the Tom Hansen Dancers, and Drinda the Street Goddess. Hello. Uh, as you know, this is our fourth show on the air, and... Uh... We found a little thing that gives us an opportunity to kind of get a chance to talk to you, and that's by answering the fan mail right on the air rather than coming to your house and bugging you. Um, so I just kind of picked up a handful here, and I'd like to uh, kind of read a couple of the letters and maybe answer them, because these are very important, because this really tells you either how a show is going or what you like about it or what you don't like about it. So if you'll bear with me, I'll just, excuse me, uh, read these, and uh, maybe we can, this is, uh, this is for Sally Struthers. So uh, I'll read one that would be directed to me, but it'd be better to. McLean. And uh, Art got three. So. <laughs> for Art. Let's see, uh, Bonnie. Tom Hanson Dancers. That was pretty popular. <laughs> Well, uh, here's one. Uh, McLean. <laughs> Just some that haven't been open, so. Uh, nothing in that one. So, is anything else? Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, here's one uh, uh, for Glenn Campbell. <laughs> yeah, Captain. Lieutenant. He lost Stuttgart. Dunkov Zwein. Pick. No good. Herr Major. Dunkovs. You know what we lost? Do you know what we lost? We lost Stuttgart. And Heidelberg. Dunkovs. This. I don't know what you're doing here. Hey, Colonel! Schweinhunds! Do you know what we've lost? 
We've lost Stuttgart. We've lost Heidelberg. We've lost Dusseldorf. Dummkaffs. And the Boden will be lost. And the... And the general. Well, then. Do you know what you silly nincompoops have done? You have lost Stuttgart. And you have lost Heidelberg. And you have lost Dusseldorf. And you fatso, you have lost Hamburg. <laughs> I have never been so... Attention, I'm here. the end of the world. <laughs> All right, now remember, no low punching, no rabbit punching, no kidney punching. Let's shake hands and come out fight. The champ. There's your boy. Hmm. What were you doing in our camp then? <laughs> all right, now look. Keep there's both your right, right and left going at all times. Hit them right. Oh, you gone. <laughs> well, somebody took my fighter. Get a cop. An it's a body blow by the champ. And a left and a right by the kid. The kid is coming back strong. He's got the champ. The champ obviously felt that first blow to the body. Now they're feeling it. Keep your separation by the referee. Keep your left going at all times. It's early in the round. A long way to go. Back to the foot of the lot of weight he's carrying around here. The champ does have the there's a left. The left by the kid. Now the champ moves in. The champ moves in and he's in the left. And a right. And another right by the kid. The kid is looking real good in this first round. Keep it. Keep it moving. Watch his right. You're <laughs> back. Oh, I'll get this slow for you. Come on, Papa, Ty. You're doing real well. You're doing real well. I, okay. I think you got that round soda. Okay. Uh, All right. The I want you to pace yourself. He's gone. He's gone again. Get the people who had him last time. Bring him back. And yet, he's open to cut. I'm sure he's open to cut. Watch his eyes. Watch his eyes. You can tell a lot by his eyes. Right, so there's the end of round two. Not Watch your footwork. Uh, Poppy, cut me. Uh, oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll have you fixed up in no time. I thought he'd cut you. I didn't like the looks of him in camp. Oh, <laughs> uh, he saw. Let me see that cut. Uh, <laughs> I'll get right in there and fix you up. Don't worry. Come on, Pop. I'll just take care of this. Now, this is going to be the big one. Uh, the kid has returned. And now the kid is bleeding pretty good, and the champ senses he can move in now for the kill at any time. Now, uh, there's a left and a right, and another right, and another right, and another right by the champ. The kid wants to be in some bit of trouble with the 
first round. That cut is not doing you any good. It's getting hard for the kid to see. The jab is taking advantage of it, and there's a right to the body by the jab. And the kid is covering up. A left by the chin. Another right by the chin. A left and a right. And another body blow. The kid seems to be coming back. I don't know where he gets that strength. There he's separating. The referee separates the two boys. Now he's in the middle of the ring. And the kid seems to be coming on back. He throws a few of his own to the champ. That the champ did feel. And now the champ is coming back. And it's another body blow. He's got the kid covering up once again. It looks like. It looks like it's the Where'd end. Where'd he go? I don't see how the kid can take this punch. I'll throw in the left, towel. Right and left, oh, right. Oh. And there's another strong left to Pop. Pop just got a two strong left in the chin, and the kid says oh. that Pop has been hurt. Comes oh. bouncing back, and he's giving it every last thing he's got. But the champ is cool. The champ is going to measure now. The champ is measuring the kid. And there's one. There's one. Right. Two. The three. Four. Zucchinis, and this is my brother. This is my brother, and he will climb into the ladder, into this cannon, and then will be shot into the air 150 feet, landing into the net. And now my brother will fly up 150 feet into the air. Up, up he will go. Up into the sky! <laughs> Aha! Hold it! Hold it, brother! Hold it, brother! Hold it, brother! again. <laughs> you know, a lot of times you're in a club and you see a couple of guys singing and you say to yourself or your wife or whoever you're with, you say to yourself or the other people, gee, I'd like to have them on my show. If you have a show. Well, I have a show and we met these guys, not at a club, but a high pressure agent brought them in. <laughs> and we'd like to have them sing on the show tonight because they have their own outfits. Here they are now, Bruce Bellin and David Somerville.
If I'm late and at all I'm laden with sadness Every moment Isn't filled with the gladness Of love For one another It's a long, long From which there is no stores. It's terrible. Good evening, sir. May I help you? Yeah, you can hand over your money. This is a stick-up. <laughs> just cool it and act natural. Will you hurry up? I've got shopping to do. Yeah, well, I just want to make sure I had everything in order, huh? Oh, uh, excuse me. Hmm? Yeah, go, go ahead. Yeah. Hmm. Hello, this is a hold-up. You're a little late, buddy. Hmm? This is already a hold-up. Oh! Oh, you... Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, I guess we'd better find another store. This one's already sticked up. Don't pay any attention to him. <laughs> You came in here to hold up the place, now do it. Yeah, well, uh, this gentleman was here first, though, you see. I don't care. I want another skin to go with this one. Now get over there. Yeah, right, okay, fine, yeah. Uh, excuse me, again. Uh, my wife is kind of in a hurry. Uh, I was wondering, could we go ahead of you? Get in line, will you? Sorry, he's gonna make us get in line. Now open the cash register and take everything you got and put it in the paper bag. Boy, that was real good. <laughs> you must be doing real well. Wow, that's a good suit. <laughs> Wife and I are just getting started in this business. Uh, we had a chicken fried place, you know, franchise, but they gave us a bad location. <laughs> Didn't give us any chicken either. So we uh, weren't doing very well at all. Yeah, so. Kind of new in the business. Mm -hmm. yeah. Boy, those are nice gloves, too. Really smart. <laughs> Soft, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, listen, you're stalling. I'll get the money myself. Hey, uh, put him in there, will you? Huh? Oh, yeah. Glad to help. Uh, I'm going to help him. I'll be right back. Yeah. In here? Right there. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> you smoke? Very good. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Huh? Oh, uh, well, I thought, you know, since I helped you out, that maybe we could split 50-50. Get out of here. Uh -huh. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. Look, why don't you take the tens and twenties, and I'll take the ones. <laughs> Beat it. Mm. Boy, those are soft gloves. <laughs> Give me. 
What is wrong with you? I did not come in here to bargain. We're taking it all. Uh, yeah, all right. All. All right, I'll, I'll go get it. Uh, you know what? I forgot my mask. Maybe that'll help. <clears throat> You won't know me, uh, Hello. Uh, we were talking over the little woman and I remember I told you we had the uh, chicken pie place. Um, we decided that it would only be fair for us to take all the money, so uh, this is a stick up. Uh, <laughs> See, it's really me again. It's a shame, you're such a nice looking guy. <clears throat> You know something? Those soft gloves are starting to hurt me. <laughs> I think we're making him mad. What am I going to do with you? You don't even know how to hold up a place. Give me the gun. Come on now, I'm going to show you how to do it. Go around, get behind the counter. Oh. Come on, I'll show you. Howdy, it's us again, little woman and I. We're just practicing. Now pay attention, <laughs> okay? All right, mister, this is a stick-up. Open your mouth and I'll plug you. Put up your hands. All right, hold it. Drop the gun. Put up your hands. Mm. Officer, I'm not holding up the place. He is. Tell it to the judge, lady. Come on. Officer, you're making a terrible mistake. Wait, wait a minute, wait, wait. A minute. Uh, tell him who I am. You said if I open my mouth, you'd plug me. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. Move it. Oh, phooey. <laughs> Hello, once again. Of course, you know that this is the time that CBS allots me every week called the personality spot, the chance where you get to like me. Uh, this week, I'd like to talk about a subject that uh, a good number of you think is a touchy subject with me. That's why we've selected it tonight, and that's why I'd like to talk about it. It's, it's not a touchy subject with me, and therefore that's why I want to talk about it tonight and kind of clear it up. For those of you who think that it might be a touchy subject with me. But a lot of you are uh, <clears throat> wondering about uh, my... Uh, and uh, wondered probably when I first started losing it. <clears throat> Why do you think that that's a, a touchy subject with me? And that's why I thought that I'd clear it up because I've learned to live with it and I think, I think we should be able to meet on a street and you should be able to say, hey, what about... <laughs> and a lot of you are probably wondering why I never got uh, one of those things to cover it up. Well, I, I can't talk about this anymore. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. Stay tuned for the second portion of the Tim Conway Comedy Hour with Tim's guests, Peter Graves and Audrey Meadows. We return for the second portion of the Tim Conway Comedy Hour. Too loud? The United States Academy Marching and Precision Team. Head up! Head up! Head up! 
Japón. ¡Sap! ¡Hit it like Paul Fuller! Hey, 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 Mr. Tally Man, Tally Me Banana. Hello, Chicken, love it! Hey, call, sit in it! Hey, call, sit in it! Four more, clap! Everybody's passing us. You know, we're going to be late. I mean it. If he keeps driving this slow, we are going to be late. Uh -huh. um, is, is there something wrong with the car? Nothing's wrong with the car. Then why are we going so slow? I have a reason for going slow. My license expired. Well, God, what? Just stop the car. Just stop the car and be I don't pay money to ride with a criminal. What are you talking about, a criminal? This, this is unfair. For the dollar eighty a week we pay you, everything should be covered. Insurance, taxes, and license. Well, right. I have a license, everybody. It's just expired. That's why I'm being careful. A criminal. That's yeah. what we're riding with. A criminal. Yeah, the toy told the criminal about his forehead. Yeah, look at his forehead. Mm. He turned my head. You shouldn't be trying. Yeah, you shouldn't Sally's be turning right. my head. Sally's right. You're right, buddy. I'm right. All right, all right. I'll tell you what. Make everybody happy. I'll let somebody else drive. I'll just pull over. Is that okay with everybody? Yes, yep, hey, You yes. can't stop on this side of the freeway. I can stop on this side of the freeway if I want to. Should I tell you? The man's a criminal. <laughs> there. there we go. Okay, wise guys, scaredy cats and everything. Come on, Warner. Just get over here, change places with me. Come on. I don't know how to drive. <laughs> Okay, okay, come on. Hold this, let I'll drive. drive Boy, we what drive. a bunch of fraidy cats. Let me get I'm over telling here. you. I can do it. Ow! Okay, what's up? Ow! One second. Ow! 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 Don't you pitch me. Ow! Let me get my foot over. Ow! I want to tell you something. Wait a minute. Be careful of my clutch. We're going to be late. I got it. I know. Wait a minute. I just got a new clutch in. I lost my shoe. Be careful of the clutch. You're crushing. All right, I know. I hear you. I know, I know. Watch that clutch. Okay, wait a minute. Touch it easy. All right. Uh-huh. Listen to that baby sing, huh? Just beautiful? I'll have you guys downtown in no time. One second. Is the second here? No, no, I didn't see. Wait a minute. How about the second? Here? That's my clutch. No, that can't be second. We're second. This, this gotta be second. This second? Yeah, this gotta be second. I can drive. 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 I can
my clutch. Get up. I don't know a second was. Get up there. Let it have a woman's touch. That clutch is touchy. Okay, well, chap. Let me get around here like this. Okay, you just hold it. Don't you big bull. Don't you probably ruin my clutch. You know what that cost me? 4850. That's what it cost me. 4850. Okay, let me get over. You don't get clutches like this anymore. We're gonna be late. We're gonna be late. Watch my clutch. I can't get through my head. It's going in the wrong direction. Would you move over? Oh, my leg is stuck. Jesus Christ. Wait, you get off me. Watch my clutch. Oh! I'm sorry. I really mean I spilled. I'm sorry. I spilled coffee. Take your leg. I can't. Put it in the back. My Where? purse. Give me my purse. Okay. All right. Oh. Huh. We took some coffee. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anybody see my hairspray? Get her out of there. <laughs> Get her out of there. That's it. Get her out of there. Get her out of there. All right. Come on, we're gonna be late. We are going to be very late. I try. May I try to drive? I'm driving it. Why don't I try? All right, get up. Now this is the last one. I mean it. Okay, wait, 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 wait a second. Ouch! Ouch! Oh, wow. you're holding too tight. That's unbelievable. Okay, are you comfortable? All right. Now All be right. careful of my clutch. Get your leg in there. My nylons. All okay. right. Wait a minute. All right, here we go. Oh, okay, all right, here we go. The road! Somebody please point me the road! Get down! Wait a minute, I'll help you over there. I got it. You know, a while ago, a little woman and I were over in London, and uh, I dropped my wallet in the street, and some people danced all over it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is very dumb. <clears throat> the amazing Metrano. Mm. <laughs> 
Very nice heart. You want to come in, man? Ladies and gentlemen, Art Petrano. Boom, bam. Very nice. Uh, Art, of course, is one of our regulars on the show, uh, a very funny guy, and uh, we're very happy to have him with us. Uh, of course, some of the other regulars, uh, McLean Stevenson is also on the show, a little bit funnier than Art, because, of course, Art has not had the experience that McLean has had in uh, the show business field, and McLean was also in Second City and things of that nature, so he's a little more uh, comic feel to it, but we're very happy with Art, and we're sure that, that he'll... Uh, He'll come along just as well as uh, McLean and be... No, I won't. Just as funny as McLean towards the end of the season. So I just wanted you to meet him. Very nice guy. Yeah. Don't worry, you're going to be just as funny as McLean. No, I'm not. You sure you were? You yeah, know I'm not. That's why you just... Broke him. <clears throat> Can't even talk. Come on, you're, you're a very funny guy. You're I'm the... not a funny guy. The people out there like you. No, I don't see nobody out there. On the camera... Yeah, really, no kidding. And, and you're a nice-looking boy. I'm not a nice-looking boy, you just say that. No, you really are, you're very nice. No, you hurt me. It's a nice suit. No, it is not even mine. <laughs> no, it's a CBS. They gave it to me, say, where did you do it? You do da 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 Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, maybe next week if we gave you more time. Next okay. week, it's always next week, Tim. Why well, can't it be today? Well, okay, go ahead, take your time now. Okay, here I am. They're leaving me now. You don't want to be alone, please. Hi, Ma. Two handsome twins were born one day in a house down Mason Dixon Way. The state line crossed it like the Great Divide, so it had a northern and a southern side. One brother from the north, the other from the south. Well, I hush my puppy and shut my mouth. That's just the way our tale begins of a pair of authentic, identical twins. Oh, Colonel. Oh, hello, Criddleline. Sexy little orange blossom from next door. 
Wowee, Colonel. Mm -hmm. It certainly is a hot day today. Yeah. Say, can the twins come out to next? <laughs> Pretty line, you crazy kid. Well, you'd be crazy too if you had my problems. Oh, Colonel, why can't I make up my mind which one of your sons to marry? Because they're identical twins, that's why. Only their mother could tell them apart. And unfortunately, she's in a house with the sleeping sickness. Hark, I do believe the twins are coming now. Mason and Dixon. <gasps> And looking more alike than ever. Cat Zooks. It's like seeing double. <laughs> oh. Hi, Father. Hi, Crinoline. Hi, Father. Hi, Crinoline. It's spooky, I tell you. <laughs> spooky. Real spooky. Yeah. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Ooh. Spooky, spooky, spooky. <sighs> You boys pick all the cotton? Yes, Papa, I picked 40 bags. <sighs> cotton? I thought we was picking raspberries. I've been eating cotton again. <laughs> How many times did I tell you to kill him? It was cotton. You've been eating cotton. Too late! <laughs> Just joking. Papa, I gotta go downtown. Taylor's making me a suit out of raspberries. <laughs> That? Well, maybe that's Mason's stomach. He's been eating cotton again. Uh, just. Uh. Gee, I sure wish we had a paper to see what's going on. Want me to run downtown and get one, Papa? <gasps> hey, look at that. It says Ram. No, silly. You have it upside down. It says Woa. No, he's right. It says Ram between the North and the South. Boys, this is very serious. But why, Papa? Why? Because this here house was built on the Mason Dixon line. And one of you was born on the South, and one of you was born on the North. Why? That means that these two boys are going to have to go to Ram against each other. <laughs> I'm afraid so, Crinoline. Oh, Crinoline. Crinoline, my darling, fly with me to Atlanta where I shall fight for the South. Well, Crinoline, come with me to Montreal where I shall fight for the North. But Montreal is in Canada. I wonder if my raspberry suit's gonna be warm enough. Oh, I would be the one if you just here. It wouldn't be fair. Goodbye, Mason. I'll wait for you. I'm Dixon. I'll wait for you, too. And I'll marry the victor. I'm victor. Spooky. Let's join the ram between the states. Each twin goes in and participates. A story of glory in different ranks. One rooting for the rebels and one yelling for the Yanks. Come in. Crinoline. Mason. Uh, it's Dixon. Oh, let me look at you. Oh, let me look at you, Dixon. Let me look at you. Oh, oh, let me look at you. Just, just let me look at you. Oh, let me look at you. Let me look at you, Dixon. Dixon, let me look at you. Bye, Dixon. Well, where are you going, Crinoline? I'm going to look at Mason now. Crinoline, that lovely vixen, doesn't know her mason from her dixon, doesn't know her straight lines from her jokes. Spooky, spooky, spooky folks. Come on out of there, Yankee. We know you're in there somewhere. We gonna get you, Yankee. You ain't got a chance. Mason? Mason, let me look at you, Mason. Mason, let me look at you. Mason? Mason, let me look at you. Mason. Oh, Mason, let me look at you. Mason. Let me look at you. Let me look at you, Mason. Oh. Ram goes on the dreadful ram. 
greatest tragedy what am the twins fight bravely as they did before and as enemies they meet at their own front door mercy mercy me will this ram never end People killing each other and buildings being burned and land being trampled and tomatoes nine cents a pound. Psst. I heard a pst. I know that pst anywhere. Is that you, Mason? It's me, Dixon. Spooky. It's getting so I can't even tell their pst apart. Oh, my darling friend lion. Oh, let me look at you. Let me look yeah, at well, you. Well, I don't Mason. have time. My regiment pulls out in a month. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Tragedy. Well, Tragedy strikes the Beauregard family again. He went to give your mother a bath, and while he was doing it, he caught her sleeping sickness. Psst. It's another psst. Do psst in one day. Spooky. Crinoline, Crinoline, my darling. Wait a minute, is that me? No, that is your identical twin brother. Hmm, that's spooky. Out of the way, Crinoline. Choose your weapon, Yankee. This ram isn't over yet. Right. I think I'll make another selection. <laughs> oh, mercy, mercy me, what this terrible ram has wrought. Identical twin brother pitted against identical twin brother. And everywhere is the same story. I don't know, as horrifying as it is, I guess there just has to be some system. Prepare to die, Mason. I'm Dixon. Oh, that's a good thing you told me. I almost shot myself. <laughs> Are you shot? No. Are you? No, I don't think so. How about you, Crinoline? I'm all right. Hmm. Papa? No, I'm okay. Well, you must have shot somebody. Hmm. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Two innocent bystanders. Ram is hell. Yeah. And you know, the strange thing is that those two innocent balladeers were also identical twins. Tonight. We really had some fun, didn't we? Hey, Tim, are you folks from Detroit? Well, I'd like to thank my guests tonight, Peter Graves and Audrey Meadows, for stopping over. And at this time, I'd like to say, gee, it's all fine and dandy. Sugar candy when I'm with you. Good night, everybody.
is your announcer speaking. 